Hello everyone. Uh, this video marks the 26th one of these uh, commentary things. Uh, that means I've been doing this for half a year. Uh, I've managed to get a video up every week for half a year. Uh, when I made the first one, I didn't think that was going to happen. It was... Uh, I just made it as a lark, I had a couple things to ramble about, and so I just put some videos, you know, recorded some stuff and put some videos up. But it kind of took on a momentum. Uh, I realized after a short while that I was managing to do a, about one video a week, and they were always coming out on Thursday evening. Uh, so... After a while, I kind of got in that um, rut, I guess, it's into a sort of a schedule. Um, and then it just sort of became a habit, uh, you know, pick a topic, ramble for a bit, and put it up uh, every Thursday. Uh, now, a couple of times I've missed the Thursday target, and ended up, it ended up going up on Friday. Uh, like this week, it's uh, late, and... Uh, that's due to some scheduling issues and uh, other things that I had going on. Um, last week, I was actually on the road. I was uh, going to the Coco Fest in uh, Lombard, Illinois, uh, which is a thing that happens every year. It's, uh, it's a show that's uh, dedicated to the Radio Shack color computer and... Uh, uh, related uh, machines that's been going on for quite a long time, long after the uh, machines themselves have been e essentially uh, defunct. Uh, certainly they haven't been made in uh, something like uh, 30 years. So it's, uh, you know, it was, and, and that involved me driving down there with a trunk full of gear and setting up and you know, talking to people all weekend and then driving back. And that just so happened I was I was literally on the road when last week's video published. Uh, I, I managed to record two the week before and schedule the second one. And I knew I was going to have things going on this week, but I thought I'd have time on Wednesday or Thursday to actually film a video. But it didn't work out that way. It's this weekend, starting Thursday, is the local uh, 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 comic uh, entertainment expo thing. Uh, what colloquial people are calling Comic-Con, but it really isn't. Uh, it's a different thing altogether. It's not actually affiliated with Comic-Con. But it's a pretty big uh, show. It, it, it ranks uh, fairly high up in... Uh, you know, the size for these shows across North America, in fact. Um, so uh, yesterday, Thursday, I ended up uh, actually at the show and when I would normally have been filming my video. And by the time I got home, I was just done. Um, and you know how that happens. You know, you get out there, you're wandering around with a bunch of people for hours, and then you're basically done. You don't want to do anything. So, uh, so this week's is a bit late. But still, I've managed to get 26 of these things out, unless I've m miscounted somewhere along the way. And that's actually quite impressive. Uh, to keep at something for six months... Uh, Especially when there's no particular financial gain to be had or anything like that, you know, as all three of my regular viewers will know, uh, that, uh, you know, I can't possibly be making a fortune on these things because I don't have the viewership. Uh, and that's fine. But that does raise the question, why the blazes would I spend, uh, you know, an hour or two a week uh, recording and then editing the, these videos? And really, uh, well, why did I write blog posts regularly uh, before I started doing this sort of thing? Uh, nobody read that either. You know, like all, all three people that watch these videos probably read my blog. Uh, maybe it's a different three. Uh, maybe I only had two reading the blog. I, I don't know. But the point of it wasn't really for the audience. It wasn't really... Uh, 
It wasn't to make money for sure, because uh, I think I've made a grand total of 20 cents on all of these across since November. So why do I do it? Well, I don't know. It's just something I do. Uh, I got to doing it, and I kind of stuck with it. Uh, you know, and there's plenty of people putting up videos just like this on YouTube with exactly the same situation. They're not making anything from it, but occasionally I'll uh, I'll put up a video. It'll be on a topic that uh, somehow people get directed to with YouTube's algorithm, and I'll get the odd comment. Um, like one of my early ones where I was talking about Anita Sarkeesian and her professional victimhood. Uh, uh, um, shtick. Uh, that one got a few views from random people, and I think that's because it happened to uh, be a topic that was big on YouTube, and uh, some things just linked through, and people stumbled on it that way. And maybe sometime in a, a future week, I'll hit on some big topic that, and I'll say something particularly amazing, and uh, maybe I'll I'll end up with my 15 minutes of fame and four dollars in in uh, advertising uh, revenue instead of three cents, but for now I'll just put my two cents or four cents or two dollars you know whatever into uh, whatever topic I feel like. But I do have a bit of a problem with these things, and that is coming up with a topic to talk about a lot of the time. Uh, and I've done all sorts of random things from, uh, you know, talking about current events to ranting about idiocy to, well, whatever. I've even done a couple of number file style brown paper videos. Um, and if you're into math type stuff, you should check out number file, uh, by the way, and related channels by uh, Brady. Uh, you, you really should. They're they're. Uh, quite entertaining uh, if you're into that subject matter. Uh, there's a whole collection of those types of channels on, on YouTube. They're, they're worth taking a look at. And maybe I should at some point do a rundown of those. Uh, I probably won't. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I probably should do that uh, I won't get around to. Uh, that's a thing that 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 I, I have is uh, there's lots of things that I think it'd be great to do and I'll even start a lot of them, but then I won't actually get around to finishing them. Uh, you know, it's, so, you know, my project list, the ones that are listed as almost started are probably the best ones on the list because they're not hanging there partway finished. You know, I've done random things over, over the years, and I got so many of them sitting there in a state where they might be finished someday. I, I've got various uh, uh, stories that are in various states of completion. Uh, I've uh, I've uh, started various software projects that have gotten to a point where they're usable to for some value of usable, but I've never polished them to the point where they're worth releasing. And there's a whole bunch of stuff like that that I've got sitting around on my hard drive in. Uh, in a, a folder uh, structure that uh, um, is just insane. You know, you know how when you you got too much stuff in your in a directory or in your folder, you make a folder in there called old or attic or something, and you just shove everything in there, including the old attic folder or something. I've got directory structures which are 20 levels deep with slash attic slash attic slash old slash attic and. Uh, amazingly, I've actually found useful things in there occasionally. Uh, though how I ever managed to find anything in that uh, amazes me. But you know, I've actually managed to stick with the odd thing over the years, uh, including so far these commentaries. Uh, I've managed to release at least one open source uh, software package. Uh, it's uh, related to the color computer stuff, but I still I managed to release it, and I've stuck with maintaining it over the years. Uh, you know, there, there's been a few things that I've managed to stick with, but there's other things, most things, I just never quite stick with it. So it makes it amazing that I stuck with these commentaries for six months. 
uh, whether I stick it out for a whole year, I'm not sure. I think that'll depend on whether I manage to find topics. Uh, the rate the world is going, I'm sure topics will, will be easy enough to find. Um, but... Yeah, who knows? Maybe a thing. Maybe I'll get busy with other things, and it'll just drop by the wayside, like so many other things. Um, who knows? Either way, uh, if any if any of my three viewers uh, or anyone who stumbles across this uh, actually comes up or has an idea for something that I should uh, talk about. Uh, feel free to uh, drop me a line. Uh, you know, message me on my channel or whatever. Uh, let me know what the the idea. Uh, maybe it'll, maybe it's a good one. Maybe it's something I have something to say about. Uh, the more ideas for topics I have, the more likely I'll be able to continue these things uh, with uh, with some regularity. Now I do have some goals with these uh, videos that I really should uh, get working on. One of them is to spend more than three microseconds scripting them. Uh, you may have uh, noticed in some of them I get a nice long uncut video. Others there's cuts all over the place. There's jump cuts everywhere. Uh, and that's sometimes because I've cut out long rambling side tangents that are just boring. Uh, more boring than the main video. Uh, in other cases, it's because I've had to cut out, uh, you know, the usual things that go wrong. You know, the cat jumps up and knocks over the camera, or, uh, you know, you sneeze, or uh, uh, the phone rings, or whatever that you end up having to cut out because, well, it doesn't belong. Early on, I tried to, you know, fade the cuts or something like that, and then after a while I realized that I don't really need to. These are not formal videos. So I just started editing them as quick as possible so that I'd get them out there uh, as quick as possible. Um, I'm, I hope that the new camera I acquired just uh, in the past month or so is improving the uh, video quality a bit. Uh, I noticed in some vid more recent ones that the focus would just go and for no apparent reason. So I think the old camera was breaking, but uh, that's uh, neither here nor there, really. Uh, you know, gear fails over time, especially when you beat it up uh, with by putting it on a dashboard in a car and driving on a on a gravel road for eight hours or something like that. So I suspect that's what happened there. Uh, I also have some other goals for for the channel. I, I a while back I was doing some uh, videos for playing uh, you know s some games, uh, Sim City, uh, 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 to, what was it, uh, Sim City Four, and uh, City Skylines, and I I want to get back and make a, make some new ones of those, especially with Skylines since there's been. Uh, a couple of expansions released since then, and I think the uh, newer expansions for Skylines will make for a, an interesting uh, a, a video, uh, potentially. It's certainly an interesting playthrough. Uh, I've thought about uh, capturing some Civilization V games that I, I've been playing, but I'm not sure how well those will uh, play on uh, on a video. So maybe I'll I'll uh, capture that for uh, the next time I do a Civ 5 play playthrough, uh, and, and hopefully that would be uh, it. Would give me some uh, more variety on the content, and I also intend to get some more road videos this summer. Uh, you know, when when the weather good and and so on, uh, it's easier to get these uh, videos. So. Uh, I'm hoping to get some, and with the new camera, I'm hoping that the low light situation and shadows and brightness situation improves quite a bit so that I get a, a better result. Um, I did film the uh, trip I, uh, to Lombard, so uh, once I process those videos, it, uh, I'll get a, have a better idea how this will respond because that actually has daytime and nighttime footage in pretty much all weather conditions. So it'll be interesting to see. 
Uh, so really, uh, there isn't really much more to say here. Um, I figured uh, I haven't done an update on what's going on, so I figured, hey, why not? Uh, this is a perfect occasion to do that, uh, the six months of doing these commentaries. Uh, I, I don't know if if, uh, if there's anything particularly uh, earth shattering in them, uh, if there's any if it's really worth uh, my time. But you know what? I think I'll, I'll keep doing them, and maybe I'll hit on that perfect formula. Uh, maybe I'll hit on that perfect uh, uh, software arrangement for editing things. I, I, maybe. And, and maybe I can start jazzing them up. And that's my other goal with these, is to get, to be able to get some, some visuals other than just being a talking head. Uh, some of them, they could certainly benefit from, from visuals, uh, but unfortunately, it's really tedious to do the graphics, so I need to get something where I can, can do that uh, more programmatically. And I think I'm going to have to write it myself, uh, which uh, is pretty much why I haven't done it. Uh, and because I'm not operating on Windows or a Mac, uh, a lot of the canned software out there just doesn't do all of the fancy things like uh, scripted subtitles and things like that. So. Uh, I have to uh, work a lot harder to get the same, uh, you know, fancy sliding around yugas on the screen and all of that jazz. But uh, if I actually put some time into it, I'm sure I could get uh, pretty much what I want. Uh, and there's another project that I've almost started so many times. Um, anyway, uh, that's enough for now. Uh, if you have ideas for uh, future videos, uh, do let me know. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be ideas for commentaries either. It could be ideas for other things that maybe I should film or, or attempt to. Uh, so uh, any ideas, uh, send them my way, uh, you know, message me on my channel, whatever. Uh, and uh, really, uh, that's it. That's the thing. I, you know, I just, video ideas are welcome and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified of uh, future videos and as always if you've watched this far thanks for watching